Here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering the history taking station, kindly begin. Hello, I'm Dr. Jennifer, uh, one of the surgical doctors here. Uh, can you confirm your name and age, please? Uh, yes, my name is Abdul Baghi. Uh, I'm a first part of this walk. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, how can I help you today? You know, look, uh, for, for the last three months, I, I, I have, uh, you know, having a difficulty in swallowing. When I take food, I couldn't swallow just in that time. Okay. Sorry to, uh, very sorry to hear that. Uh, can you uh, tell me, uh, is there any difficulty of uh, swelling uh, for liquid food or solid food or both? You know, doctor, actually my problem is that by, you know, difficulty in swallowing the, the, the solid, you know, material and, and gradually it become more worse. Now, even I cannot drink a cup of water. Oh, really sorry to hear that. Um, uh, you said uh, it's for the uh, last 10 months uh, and it worsened over time. And uh, can you mention that, uh, is it uh, present all the time or uh, it just comes and go away? Uh, I, I, it's getting worse nowadays is most of the time. Whenever I take some uh, food or liquid, I have really difficult difficulties in, uh, in, in swallowing. Okay. Uh, is, it, is there pain uh, during swallowing? Sorry? Do you feel any pain during swallowing? Not that much. Only I'm struggling to, to swallow the food and liquid. Okay. Do you have any uh, chest pain? Uh, no, no, no. I don't have chest pain. Okay. Um, can you tell me, uh, do you have any uh, significant unintentional weight loss in last few months? You know, all my my friends and my family told me that your weight is not like before. That yes, I'm feeling that I lost a significant weight. Uh, can you mention uh, how much you have lost and over how long time? Uh, you know, over the last uh, six months, it's about you know uh, twenty or thirty pounds. Okay. Uh, do you have any uh, uh, vomiting or is there any uh, blood mix vomitus? Have you ever vomited like that? No, 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 no. Just difficulty in swallowing, but I don't have vomiting. Okay. Um, do, you uh, do you ever felt any uh, taste of acid at the back of your mouth? Uh, no, 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 doctor. I don't have that, uh, you know, acidity or taste of acid in my mouth. Or any kind of heartburn or pain in your tummy? You know, that that, that was before. Before, uh, you can tell 10 months like that, I have like a heart pain. But nowadays, I'm not feeling that much. Oh, uh, for how long it was present, uh, the heartburn? A long, long time before. I, I can't decide when exactly, but a long time before. Okay. Um, do you, um, can you mention that, uh, have you ever noticed any uh, bad smelling breath uh, recently? Sorry? 
bad any kind of bad smelling breath have you ever felt your sensei no, no no i don't have this uh, bad smell as, as you talk no. uh any regurgitation of food uh, present there on lying position no i don't have regurgitation okay uh, do you ever feel any uh, gargling or uh, wet voice after swelling actually i did not notice such a gargling or something like that and do you feel any kind of uh, lump in your throat uh, um, what do you mean? What do you mean by a lump? Swelling. Uh, you are feeling a lump in your throat? No, no, no. You don't have kind of this feeling. Okay. Uh, do you have any kind of weakness anywhere else of your body? No, no, doctor. I don't or have any, any weakness. weakness during walking? No, 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 no. I'm feeling very well regarding my walking and Okay. Doing regular uh, exercise. Do you exercise. have any? Okay. Do you have any um, uh, sufferings like uh, painful cold hands or dry eyes or mouth? No, I did not adapt anything like that. Okay. And uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, can you tell me? Uh, do you have any kind of medical condition like diabetes? Hypertension, uh, bronchial asthma, like that. A few months back, I went to my GP and he told me that uh, your blood pressure is a little going high, but it's controlled with exercise and like that. Uh, do you have? Uh, do you take any regular medication? Uh, no, he told me if you start doing exercise, you no need to take any medication during this time. Okay, thank you. Can you please summarize your history taking? Uh, uh, Mr. Baghi, 54 years old man, uh, yes. uh, uh, having uh, a complaint of progressive difficulty of swallowing, yes. initially for solid food and later for both solid and liquid food. Yes. And uh, uh, she, he also has a, weight, a significant weight loss within the uh, last two months. Yes. And Any other symptoms? Patient, uh, yes, yes ma'am. These, these are the main symptoms. Okay. So, considering and the symptoms of the patient, what are your provisional and differential diagnosis? Considering these symptoms, uh, my provisional diagnosis is carcinoma esophagus. Okay. And differential diagnosis are, um, uh, uh, then it may be a gastric carcinoma as well or any kind of picture for gastroesophageal reflux disease and how do you uh, plan to yes how do you plan to manage this patient what investigations would you ask for i will uh, 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 to confirm the diagnosis i will uh, go for uh, barium solo x-ray and then endoscopy of upper git along with uh, uh, biopsy if any kind of lesion is found and then, uh, if uh, uh, biopsy report shows malignancy, I will go for uh, saging uh, by uh, doing endoluminal ultrasound uh, of esophagus and CT scan. What are the uh, treatment test. alternatives that can be offered to this patient? Uh, treatment alternatives in case of operable cases. Um, uh, esophagectomy plus adjuvant radi chemo radiotherapy. Yes. And in case of non-operable cases, uh, uh, in, in uh, a self-expanding uh, metal extent uh, in esophagus and uh, palliative chemoradiotherapy uh, okay. and feeding judgments to me is the last question. Okay. If time would have allowed you, what questions would you have asked? Ma'am, I would have asked uh, the family history and along with the personal history for smoking and alcohol taking and uh, and previous uh, surgical or uh, or medical uh, Be because medic history. previous medical oh. history you kind of asked if you have current if you're seeing your gp for something but then what is the main thing that you're missing eyes idea concern and expectation ma'am a patient uh, mentioned that uh, he had uh, had a history of gastro gastroesophageal reflux 
uh, yes. and symptoms like that long before. Yes. Um, I, I could have asked in details. No, at the end, like you could have, what you think you are suffering from, or how what you expect from us, or do uh, there are three questions which are called uh, idea, concern, and expectation. What are your main concern? Like you have to clearly, uh, yeah. What are your main? What is what do you think you are suffering from? What are your main concerns yes. and what you expect and what is your expectation? Us? Yes, these three. And then, uh, right, okay. Would you want to tell me what were your differential diagnosis? Because your um, well, guess provisional guess carcinoma. Okay, if we and discuss stricture. Gastric carcinoma cannot occur like this, right? You have to tell me the swelling, if the patient has difficulty of swallowing liquid or the solid. Okay, so now you have to decide and you have to think and you have to tell what are the, where would you find the obstruction and what would be the symptoms? If you happen to think that it is in the lower esophagus and that is involving or encroaching also on the fundus of the stomach. But then how would the symptoms be? How would the, the patient present with those symptoms? The uh, patient could have present with uh, vomitus, vomiting mm -hmm. mainly. Okay. Along with hematemesis. Yes. Okay. But this is rare. The most commonly they say, okay, provisional diagnosis can be occipital carcinoma and then differential could be lung carcinoma because lung is outside from esophagus and it's encroaching or obstructing esophagus from outside. So whenever you have to consider a condition for a tube, for a pipe, for uh, something like which is esophagus, so you have to consider there could be obstruction inside the lumen of esophagus there could be obstruction, yes, or within the muscle or outside. So you have to consider the conditions like this. And then there could be pharyngeal pouch, there could be retrosternal goiter, there could be osophageal web, there could be there could be other um, ecclesia, like uh, this, this is a motility disorder of the surfaces. There could mm -hmm. be mesthenia gravis, which is a neuro neurological condition. Yeah, so because... you did not ask anything to rule out any neurological condition like that's why you did not mention so i'm not going to uh say but you did ask for autoimmune condition because you did ask for cold hands so which condition were you trying to rule out and dryness of eyes and mouth you asked in cold hand scleroderma okay or plumber uh, yeah plumber yeah you did ask bowel bowel uh, change have habit of bowel change or notice any? Yeah, understand. Not, yeah. Okay. Most of the questions you covered. If uh, you did, you didn't ask if patient suffered from any uh hematemesis. Yes, ma'am. I asked. Okay. I'm yes, sorry. I I missed. Okay. Right. Good. Thank you. Then uh. uh, uh uh, please tell me how long uh, I can take history. And, uh, six I mean, minutes. Uh, within six minutes. Okay. Yes. I, I have to complete that within six within minutes. Within six minutes. And if you don't get to complete it within six minutes, then you should uh, at least tell that uh, if time would have allowed me, I would have asked these questions. And then you should remember which part of history taking you could not cover during the history taking time. And if time would have allowed you, how would you have asked those questions? Yes? It will be asked or I will tell it myself. They will never ask you. You have to uh, you have to tell them yourself in order to score the mark. Because once, <clears throat> I'm sorry, once you will tell yourself, that means uh, you know what you have missed because of the shortage of time. And then uh, once you tell the examiner, that's as good as asking during the exam and you'll get the marks for that right good thank you